All right, Sean, thanks. Time now to go inside TMZ for all the latest from Hollywood. With us, as always, is Dax Halt. Dax, I have been waiting all week long to talk to you because there is so much coming out about Michael Jackson between uh, leaving his father possibly out of the will, uh, his mom trying to get custody of these kids, him not being biologically bound to these kids. Tell me everything. I want to know everything. Well, I th okay, I got, I got to start off with the big news for okay. today, which is they, they found a, a really, really powerful drug inside Michael's house. It's called Propofol. It's, it's used for medical, like people putting under people for surgery. It's an, for anesthesia, and it is so strong. This is not something you can get over the counter. I, I mean, you'd have to literally steal it from the hospital to get it, and that's mm. how powerful it is. Uh, but it, it can easily cause cardiac arrest if it's combined with any other prescription drugs. And uh, we're, we're being told by medical sources that if it's someone was facilitating this for Michael they could they could be charged for manslaughter it's that dangerous of a drug and I guess it really burns when they use it so they use lidocaine to kind of calm the effects of it and uh, it's interesting because that's what Michael's body was surrounded by when paramedics got there was lidocaine so yeah. all of this is kind of rolling in together and we're finding out more and more stuff which is pretty nuts now does it have to be administered by someone else is there a possibility that there was a medical professional who is administering this possibly even uh, Conrad Murray his his doctor well, that, I mean, that's kind of what people would put together, and it has to be done by IV. So, I, I mean, I don't see Michael setting up an IV for himself to administer this drug into his body. Mm. Um, the, the other thing I wanted to ask, where is this doctor right now? Is he still in the country? I, I had heard originally he was running and hiding, and then I heard, no, that wasn't the case. Well, at the beginning, he did kind of just disappear. No one could find him. And then he, w he did talk to cops. Cops didn't feel like he was a suspect, so they let him go. However, Michael's family, they do not trust this doctor. They, 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 you know, they want answers from him. I think the big thing is we're waiting for toxicology so we can figure out what the heck was in his body at the time. Um, but yeah, right now, I, I think he's just kind of hanging out. He's not exactly making himself public, kind of in hiding. But, uh, you know... Uh, cops don't feel like a suspect, so I, I we'll have to wait and see. The other thing I want to ask you, just real quickly, I know that there were a lot of construction vehicles in and out of Neverland Ranch. The, uh, his father, Joe Jackson, has said that they aren't planning to bury him there. So, any idea what might be going on? I don't know if they're they're putting out concrete because they know that there's going to be a lot of people coming to Neverland uh, this weekend. Uh, okay. So. Uh, I honestly have no idea if they're doing walkways, what they're doing. I, I'm not sure. Okay, so this could be outside of any possible memorial service. Yeah. Okay. Dax, as always, thanks so much. And uh, we want to let you know that TMZ is now on at a new time. You can catch it right here on Fox Providence at 430. And for more information on any of these stories, just head to our website, foxprovidence.com.